So this is the apron we are gonna be doing tutorial about. It's a reversible apron. It, you can wear it on this side. It has an African print on a play pattern. And you can also put on this side, which is all through the African print. So this apron has a neck strap. So it can fit in for any adults, any shape, any height, it can fit in. As long as the person is not a giant anyway. <laughs> so this is what we have for the apron and it has a waist strap also. You tie it around your waist and you're ready to cook. You're ready to make some barbecue for summer. You know what I mean? If you're in the summer season. So you have the strap at the back. Let me tie my strap well. I think my braid is on the way. <laughs> okay, so now you have the strap tied at the back. You can see that? Wow, this is looking so pretty. So if you want to know how I make this, it has three pockets at the bottom three pockets at the bottom and there's this front pocket you can put your phone if you don't want your phone to phone to fall inside it's too so you put your phone here and it has this three big pocket so if you want to know how i achieve this keep watching till the end do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell give me a thumbs up and put a comment down below a sewing machine and a matching tray some fabric. I'm using 100% cotton and this is one yard. I prefer this because I believe this doesn't really like generate much heat. African prints. You can use one yard of this. Some pins and some safety pin. You just need one safety pin to turn it. Then pin to hold your fabric down while cutting or before sewing. Scissors, thread cutter, or you use a scissors. Measuring tape, any kind of ruler will do. So I'm using this cardboard for my pattern making and I'm just going to label it so that we'll be able to understand the measurements. Now assuming this is our fabric folded, this is the folded part of our fabric, fold it to the side and for you to get the measurement to fold it, you are using 24 inches to fold it into two. So we write it here, folded parts. So we fold in 24 inches inward. And the length of our apron for an adult length is gonna be 32 inches. So assuming we have our length this way, this is an assumption pattern. It's not our real pattern. So, assuming we have our length like this, you mark it and you write 32 inches, 32 inches length. After marking our length, oh sorry, that inks me. After marking our length, then we will not mark the width of our apron. That is how wide the apron is going to be. We're going to be using 23 inches. So, as we we have our width this way. And this is 23 inches. You label it so that it won't be confusing when you want to cut your fabric. 23 inches. 
this is what you have at the down part 23 inches then you now come to the top part of your pattern or your fabric and you mark six inches inches that is for the top and you come to the inner side that's gonna be our side of our apron you mark 21 inches so write it there 21 inches then what we're going to do to get our handle is we connect this top line, which is 6 inches, to the 21 inches that we have here. We connect it with a slant line. And with that, we get our handle. So you can label it there. Handle or hamlet. So with this pattern if you have it on your real big pattern this is just the cardboard you should be able to get your apron pattern out then you place your fabric on it and you cut out now we have our fabric cut out we cut out two of it the african print and the cotton material it has to be two because it's reversible apron but if it's just an apron you want to make you can use just one fabric and use some other lining to kind of like lining it but because we are having a reversible fab um, apron so you have to cut out two of those then we cut out our pocket the big pocket so we're gonna use a, an African fabric as the pocket so we have this cut out which is 23 by 17 that is what we have for the big pockets we we'll lay that aside then we cut a small pocket which is gonna be 8 by 10. you can use this pocket for your phone Then we have these two stripes cut out. This is two inches by 21, 29. It depends on how you want your, your tie at the back to be long. Then you have the next strips, which is I cut out 18. 18 by three so now we we'll take our small pockets then we'll fold it like quarter of an inch quarter of an inch fold it then we we'll press it down with the pressing iron our iron is steaming hot already so you fold it like this Fold it in, then by the side also, we fold it like quarter of an inch. I'm just eyeballing. I'm eyeballing right now. I didn't measure it. I just fold it like quarter of an inch is okay. And you fold the third side also. Quarter of an inch. This side is looking like half of an inch already so it's better you use the same measurement for the three so you fold it and press it down then the top part you take it to your sewing machine and then you you sew it down take it to the sewing machine and sew it down you can you can double turn it and sew it this way sew it down but these three parts should not be sewn 
is our big pocket what we're gonna do to this is we fold we fold it and then we stitch we stitch the edge you can fold it twice and stitch it then you fold the bottom also and stitch it you stitch here the longer part not the length we're stitching the width of it now we'll take our apron body panel then we unfold it we unfold it like this lay it out and make sure it's well laid straighten it out and we'll place our pockets we take the small pocket and we'll place it where we want it to be the right place we want it to be this pocket is good for you to put your phone when you're on your apron doing barbecue or in the kitchen and when we are placing the wish, this, we should be careful so that there won't be too much space here and lesser one. We should make sure it's balanced. Then we can take our pin and pin it down. So we're going to be sewing that way. We pin it down like this. So now we'll go to the bigger pockets. And this is the bottom part of our apron body panel. So we we'll take our pockets and we we'll fold it into two. Remember, you need to like stitch the edges. We fold it into two and we we'll place it here. Take your pin. Pin it down. Pinning it down makes sewing easy. I just want to show us, but make sure it's well laid flat before you pin it down. You don't need to fold it like this. Make sure it's well laid flat. So we we'll pin it down half an inch away from it. And this other side also half an inch. Then you pin it down before you sew it. You take your other body panel, which is the African print, and you place it this way. Remember, it's a reversible apron, so you place it on it. You place it on it, then you sew. You sew it like this. You sew it round. Then at the bottom part, you can leave a space for like maybe um, seven inches. So that is what we're gonna use to turn it inside out. I love the pattern of this African print so much and I'm happy that I'm able to use it on this project. Um, so I'm not gonna attach any pockets on this African pattern print but if you want a pocket at the other side of your apron too you can decide to do the same thing you did for this on this so that both sides will have a pocket but because i love this pattern this circle key kind of design i don't want anything to touch it or anything to destroy it so, but I